Hey, Virgo, Sun, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for July 11th, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get it, Virgos. Coming with the Six of Cups, Six of Swords, and the Five of Cups in reverse. Uh, so, Virgos, you guys are, like, really thinking about the past. You guys have been thinking about how much more happy you probably would have been if you guys were still in the past energy with the Six of Cups and the Sun card. There could have been a lot of happiness in the past that you guys would have been just, like, free, happy, doing your thing. And you guys are having a lot of nostalgic memories of regarding that. Uh, maybe at this at this time or maybe within now in the next six days or coming in the month of August, you guys are really going to be feeling that energy, all right? A lot of you guys had like had to move away from things that honestly genuinely had to make you happy because whatever it was that was making you happy in the past is just simply you guys were ready for a new journey with the Six of Swords energy. I want you guys to know that whatever it is that you guys are not sure of or what it is that you guys are not able to see it maybe at this time, Angels are taking care of you and protecting you. Um, regardless, though, you guys are coming out of the sadness, depression, the feeling sorry as well for yourself. You're, you're removing the guilt away from yourselves as well. You guys have to really put up a fight for yourselves and protect yourselves at all, on a whole other level. Things are moving way too fast for you guys, Virgos, but it's like nothing was coming towards you guys with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You guys, a lot of you guys ended up going into Hermit, just sitting there watching, like wondering, like, when, what's going to end up happening for the future? What's going to come in for the future, right? With the Two of Wands. But you guys chose to take that leap of faith and you, tries, you chose to go to the unknown and make changes for yourself so even if things were you know not coming for you with the ace of pentacles in reverse in the end you still were able to make that move i want you guys to know that you guys do have great blessings coming towards you guys with the two of wands like god sees like that god sees that you know what you are very fucking humble you are very much so resilient you are a hermit you're an old soul so it's like even if one part of your journey didn't end up the way that you wanted it to end up there's going to be so much more greatness coming towards you guys and it shows that right over here high priestess ace of wands the two of cups the ten of pentacles and the seven of pentacles you guys have worked so fucking hard so hard that your all your seeds that you guys have been planting with the seven of pentacles is of worthiness is actually genuine is actually we're going to prosper with the seven of pentacles you know and it's gonna your seven of pentacles is gonna end up turning into the ten of pentacles and people are gonna look up to you love you with the two of cups new beginnings is gonna be coming towards you especially in love you know and with the high priestess it's like deep down you fucking know this but it's like maybe sometimes you guys are not able to see it or whatever the case is but you know deep down that it's still gonna come for you regardless so that is gonna that's gonna be coming for you guys virgos if there was a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who said something really fucked up to you guys or, you know, who are you guys know that this person is very much so deceptive with the Page of Cups in reverse, they are a fool. They are a fool for coming back and trying to offer you some sort of stupid shit, trying to collab with you in some sort of way. They're not coming towards you to actually want to be around you or collab with you. They're actually doing it because they're very much so deceptive. They're fraudulent. They're deceiving. This is a very deceiving type of person. They're very selfish. So you want to be able to watch your back because somebody here is not watching their back. But justice will prevail and you will be able to call a judgment on this situation. You guys are the Nine of Pentacles, all right? You guys might have a group of people here, which is the Queen of Wands, King of Swords, who might feel who are, who are texting each other, contacting each other back and forth, back and forth regarding you. They're not going to get away with the shit that they're doing. Maybe these people are linking up with each other. <sighs> in the evening time to see if they can like do something Virgos nine of wands but I don't believe it's gonna end up happening you guys are protected and fine nine of wands you guys are very resilient no matter what people are trying to bring towards you guys you guys are gonna always end up on top three of cups you guys have so much happiness success uh coming towards you guys and you're gonna be absolutely recognized people are being exposed with the moon card this emperor is absolutely angry and upset he has no control anymore and he's very childish and very immature they everywhere they go they end up in no happiness at all they can go left right no and no happiness for goes a lot of you guys are going to end up retreating and taking time for yourselves to actually heal yourselves with the three of swords it's time for you guys to heal your heart you know take care of yourselves get back into that empress energy because you're the high priestess the empress the nine of pentacles all right but it's okay for you guys to take time for yourselves with the four of swords you know what I mean? If these people are trying to work against you with the King of Swords to the Queen of Wands and they're contacting each other left, right, and center, they think that they're going to be able to get away and be confident that they can actually do something to you behind your back. 
it's not going to end up happening, Virgos. I do see that something's going to end up happening to them in, in return. The star card, the king of pentacles, and the nine of cups. There's a king of pentacles here who sees you as somebody who is absolutely amazing, a wish fulfillment, somebody who is loving with integrity. You're manifesting, you're doing your thing, that this person ha definitely has their eye on you at the moment. Oh, that shifted really fucking fast. Maybe this person is honestly seeing you as a wish fulfillment. Whether this is a love connection, nothing connection, whatever the fuck, what kind of type of connection. You guys got an Aquarius, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who has their eye on you at the moment, Virgos. This person, I'm seeing that this person is going to end up in jail. And the police are going to come and fucking get them. And they're going to end up in jail. And they're going to end up at a huge loss, 10 of wands. If this person literally is watching you at the moment right now, Virgos, they're going to end up in a very fucked up situation with the tower card to the 10 of wands and the nine of swords. I do believe that this person is going to end up going to jail. Police are going to come and get them and take them. And they're going to be put to an end. If these people are trying to set you up in some sort of way, I do believe, Virgos, that they're going to end up in a very bad position. And they're not going to be able to get out of the situation at all with the Knight of Cups or the Hierophant. They're going to end up having to go to the Hierophant and ask for literally justice. But I don't think they're going to be able to get out of this one. <sighs> Somebody here is doing the spying, investigating, Four of Cups, and the Five of Sword energy. They're going to end up becoming very pissed off. If they're trying to set you up in some sort of way with the Five of Swords energy, I don't think that they're going to be able to get away with it. These people are absolutely obsessed with you. They're literally obsessed with you, Virgos. And you guys honestly fucking know this with the Ace of Swords. They're just sitting there watching you all damn day. Like, they're still holding on to you. Yeah, I don't know why, Virgos. They're just, they're, they're, they're too infatuated by you with the Page of Wands, Eight of Swords. Like, they're stressed out about you. They can't get you off their mind. They're always thinking about you. It's causing them fucking stress and grief and a whole lot of fucking fucked up energy at the exact same time. I don't trust this energy and I don't trust this person. <coughs> <coughs> With the Six of Pentacles to the Knight of Pentacles. They might have to pay a Taurus Virgo Capricorn for them to come towards you. But in the end, they're going to end up in a lot of strife and horrible energy, Virgo. You guys are going to continue to move forward with your life. You guys got lots of opportunities coming towards you guys. And there's going to be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who might be turning away from their options and wanting to simply just focus on you. I do see that there is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's working quite a fucking bit, uh, a lot, Virgos, and trying to figure something out. There is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's doing a lot of magic on you guys. And this person is going to take that one specific cup. So they're done figuring out what type, what it is that they want to do to you. They figured out what kind of cup they want to use to do the magic onto you with the Eight of Pentacles Magician card. And they're going to try and, and have this manifest for you. So what they're going to try and do is put an end to you with the Ten of Swords by manifesting and doing spell work to destroy you. Ten of Swords. They want to hurt you. They want to actually physically hurt you with the Ten of Swords. Whether this be them doing this to you or whether they end up doing magic so that way it ends up do happening to you with the Ten of Swords. You're going to be fine. It's the Lover's Card. <laughs> They're going to end up receiving severe fucking karma with the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Wands. Like maybe the karma is going to be hitting this person's family, especially if this person might be married or they have a family for themselves. But this is somebody who tries to have more power than you at the end of the day. Um, regardless of Virgo, it's going to come to a complete ending. There could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who might also be involved in this situation. Maybe they're trying to ask a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for help. It doesn't look like it's going to end up working out for them. Maybe this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is going to end up becoming a little bit too smart or realizing the truth for that matter and realizing that you're actually a very loving and beautiful person and they don't want to collab with these people or not even want nothing to do with them. Maybe their intuition is going to be on point and they're going to be like, no, thank you, Five of Pentacles. They don't have time for the stress. They don't have time for the grief, the 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 sleepless nights. They don't have time for the drama, the competition, the imitation, stealing your shit, Judgment card, yeah, this person's going to end up recalling judgment and pulling their energy back with the Four of Pentacles. So I absolutely see this person trying to collab with other people to get them to come in and, and do something to you, Virgos. But in return, this person might see you as somebody who's very sweet and loving. And what's going to end up happening is <clears throat> they will leave this person out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. 
<sighs> because they do not want to be stressed out. They don't want drama. They don't want problems. They don't want beef. They don't want competition. They don't want to be involved with this crazy fucking energy shit. And even if they do end up saying they're speaking their truth and they end up... <clears throat> And even if they end up speaking their truth and telling this person, no, I don't want that, they're also going to end up there's there regardless whether they say yes or whether they say fucking no, they're still going to end up in the nine of swords of the five of wands because this is a group of people who are going towards one person right now, asking them to collab with them. Whatever it is that this queen of swords chooses to fucking say to these, these people, this cancer Pisces Scorpio, they're still going to get fucking murked for it. Why are they going to get murked for it? Because it's like, you didn't do what I wanted you to do. And you're calling me out. Who gives you the right to call the... Who, who, who gives you the right, Queen of Swords, to call out this person when they're needing your help? They would have preferred you to just kind of stay quiet and go on with your life and mind your own business. But because you chose to call them out and said, no, I don't want to do this to this person. And you leave them out of the cold. They're going to end up creating drama for you, causing problems for you now. I know you're probably trying to be like a whistleblower or trying to be like, but there's a time of day for this type of shit, all right? Because how I'm seeing it is that they're going to try and ask this Gemini Libra Aquarius to collab with them to maybe do you one to harm you, but there's this person's intuition is telling them like, no, you're actually a very loving and sweet person. They don't want to be involved. So that when they speak about it and you're going to be like, What? That you ha what gives you the right to talk to me like that? Now, this whether you say yes and whether you say no, you're still going to be put in a fucked up position. Why? Because you're dealing with a group of people who asked you to collab with them, and you didn't. You may have said yes at the beginning, and then later on you decide to say no. But in the end, you decide to call them out on their shit with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Because your intuition is telling you, no, this is a very loving and beautiful person. Why would I actually go out of my way to hurt them? And even if you did end up hurting this innocent person, later on you will come to the realization that you don't want nothing to do with it anymore. And you're going to try and get yourself out of the situation. But I'm telling you, there is no coming out of the situation. You fucked up. This Queen of Swords really did fuck up. Especially if they got themselves involved with this group of people to try and hurt this innocent one with the Queen of Cups. You fucked up. There, it's like it's gonna be very difficult for them to actually get out of the situation. It will be difficult for them. It's not gonna be the easiest thing ever. They asked you to do something. Let's just say you ended up doing it because they asked you to. So you did it. You've been working with them. Whatever the fuck. What? Okay, cool. But then later on, you're like, no, I don't want to do this anymore. And then you call them out at the same time. And then you abandon them, ghost them, leave them. And these are people who do magic. Let's just say. They're the type of people who do magic. I'm seeing people who do magic. Then they're going to hit you with magic. Nine of swords, five of wands. And then you're going to end up being in a lot of fucking drama and a lot of beef and a lot of problems with these people. And you're going to try to find ways to fucking protect yourself and protect your energy from them. Because they're exactly what they fucking wanted to do. Exactly what they were doing to this queen of cups. And the moment you turn their ba your back on this group of people... They're going to start hitting you with some shit. This is why it's very important, Virgos. If you don't know what you're getting yourself involved in, especially in the spiritual community, don't fucking get involved in it. Mind your own fucking business. Just because someone reaches out to you, you don't have to fucking respond back. At the end of the day, this is going to be a lesson for this person with a judgment card. You're going to learn to, you're going to have to learn to call judgment on situations a lot more faster and just because somebody says something to you, it doesn't give you the right to just jump on it. If you don't know the other person's side of the story or why there's a group of people attacking one specific person and you still join their clique, that's a lesson for you. Why would you do something like that in return? Anyway, they're coming for you, Queen of Swords. They're going to start drama with you and they're going to start causing problems for you and causing you stress. And you're going to pull your energy back with the Four of Pentacles. Because you're calling judgment and realizing that you should never have gotten yourself involved with this type of shit. Thanks, Virgos. Bye.